Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let's Code. Uh, so I was trying to make a video on a use case scenario here and I was trying to make an uncut video. But in the second point, I got stuck. You can take a screenshot and probably you can try yourself. Or already I have posted this assignment in our Discord channel. From there also you can take it. So when I was trying the second point, I got stuck and I was not able to do it. So it take little time. So uh, probably in the next video, I'll try to complete this entire scenario. But now I just wanted to quickly uh, give you one uh, way to handle the uh, SVG elements. I learned it. So I just wanted to share with you very quickly. Okay. So here the use case is very simple. Actually, we have to go to this particular link. And if you go here, you can see like what's your rating. So here we have to do the rating. Like we have to click on the fourth star and we have to do the click action. That's going to be very easy. But the challenge here is I have to mouse hover and i have to validate whether the color is getting changed or not okay so initially it will be like 000 that is uh, rgba uh, like white color and when i do the mouse hover it's going to change the color to this teal color okay so let's see how to do that it's going to be very simple uh, so if i go and inspect uh, here you can see that it's basically an svg element so we cannot directly use like double slash svg uh, that is not uh, how the xpath works for svg okay so we have to write like the svg way uh, so i'm going to show you that so double slash div and then i'm going to use the contains because there are multiple class and i'm going to focus on this particular class so i will use the contains here and then followed by i'm going to say like double slash uh, div and after this div from this div we are on this div and from this we have to go to the svg right so if i say like dash i mean slash svg uh that's not going to work right so that is now that is not how we handle the svg so here i have to say like uh, star and then followed by name function equal to svg okay so this is fine we are able to get all the five svg right so i'm going to copy this and here i'm going to say like uh, driver dot find elements by x path and that's going to return me all the stars basically okay um, so this is my all the five elements okay now i'm going to just write a loop here so for and then it's going to be like stars dot size okay so starts stars dot size okay so based on the number of element we are going to do the iteration and of course we know the code to um basically mouse over its builder dot mouse to right so we'll do that but before that i want to show you something else as well so if you go within this svg here we can see like we have a g tag and within that we have the path this path is basically defines the color so whenever we do the mouse hover this color is going to change so for example if i do the mouse over you can see like the g is moving basically so uh here you can see like we have two g tag within the svg so when i do mouse over one kicks in and one so we mouse out uh, the another fill that is the zero default is zero the white color will be there okay so we have to find a way to find that particular g and within that we have to find the color okay so for that what we can do is we can again use the like slash star and then here i can say like name function colon i mean equals within single quotes i have to say like g okay so that's going to give me all the files but here within this g right so there will be a path also so slash star and here i have to say path uh, sorry name equal to name function equal to path so name function and then followed by the path okay and this will get changed eventually when we have like uh, multiple like when we do the mouse hover on this element or this element the path will get changed okay so here i'm going to make it like one so we are going to focus on the first element okay i will show you what that really means okay i'm going to copy this now and here i'm going to say like uh okay this is like after hover right so we have to get the color after the hover so i'm going to say like after hover and here i'm going to say like driver dot find elements by x path and here we'll pass our svg element and let's store this like path okay and then i'm going to say path dot get off okay this should be elements yeah and that should be list of web element okay 
So here I will select get of i and then I'm going to say dot get CSS value of fill. Okay, so what are the color we saw that will be basically within the uh, fill. Okay, now I'm going to sys out this one. Okay, so this is what we wanted actually. Now this is after mouse over. So before mouse over, we have to write the code, right? So builder dot mouse, I mean move to element and here we will say like stars of get of i and then dot perform okay and just to make it more clear i will write the sys out statement here so this is going to be my before the hover okay and also i will try to print the color okay so before mouse hover i am going to print the color and that's going to be stars okay very simple code we have a loop within the loop we are trying to get the color of that particular svg element and then we'll do the perform that means we are doing the mouse hover and then we will try to again get the color okay that means like whenever i do the mouse over right so here whenever i do the mouse over it's going to change the color and we are going to print that okay so let's go and run this now and by the way i'm using the debugger address that means it's going to run in the same browser it's not going to relaunch so here you have seen the stars has been selected one by one and if i go to the console you can see like uh, we have this before rgb of 00, zero that is the white and then we got this just to verify you can copy this and you can uh, google google this color you will able to see like that same teal color that we saw here right so this is how we have to handle the svg i saw a lot of videos but uh, no one talked about like how to uh, get the values or how to do the mouse over action so i think this is going to be pretty useful i know this is a very quick tutorial i hope you got the idea now coming back to this why why i have used this one right so if you go and check this now if i remove this path you can see like uh, we are getting one but sometimes what happens right when we do the mouse hover and we just bring it out there will be 2g uh, for example here we are able to see this 1g right now if i mouse over you can uh, i don't know how to uh, make it visible let me try to do in this way so here you can see like we are able to see the uh, one G, right? If I do mouse over, you can see that G is getting collapsed. Another G is coming, right? So that's the reason we are targeting on the first G. That means like first path. That means the we'll get the correct fill, okay? So yeah, that's it. Very quick tutorial. Uh, I think uh, you are able to understand. Let me run once again and uh, let me show you. Okay, so here you can select star is selected one by one. Okay, so this is how we have to select. And if I go to the console, you can see like before and after we are able to get everything. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I think this is a very quick tutorial I have ever done. Uh, I will try to cover this entire test case maybe in another episode, another video. And meanwhile, if you want to give it a try, uh, I will recommend you to join our Discord where I have just posted this one. So you can go and check it out. Okay. So that's it from my side. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Very soon. If this video helps, you know what to do. Tada bye. Take care.